Hey guys, I got that chromed bayonet to show you that was in my display case, and this is a U.S. one, another Craig Jorgensen. And what's kind of cool, this one is dated 1900. My other one that hasn't been chromed, that's in really great shape, is dated 1899. <laughs> so kind of cool to get two knives that are just a year apart, but big difference on price. That other one. I can't remember how much I got it for. I got that and another one that I'm going to be showing you guys just mixed up and you just gave me. I think I got them all for a hundred bucks. <laughs> and they were both fixer uppers and it could have been that. It was either two or three bayonets. I don't know, man. <laughs> it was one of those old guys, man, that was really hard to dicker with on the price. So it's like, hey, man, just I'll take all the motherfuckers and just give me a goddamn price. Okay. <laughs> rednecks but this one this is another one I got in Lake Havasu at one of the gun stores and because it's chrome the guy figured oh it ain't worth shit because they chromed it it's still a Craig Jorgis and bayonet no matter what and the chrome in a way is preserving all that nice steel that's under it because this puppy other than the little hinge mechanism which I'll show you my other one here. That's this puppy. That's your belt loop. That's been snapped off, obviously, because they had it. I got a belt with it, too. A belt with a leather, or not leather, but a canvas frog, because it was just set up for a parade to where they can wear it while they were marching. As you can see, definitely professionally done on the chrome. But other than that, this thing is in awesome condition. They didn't just take one that had been used and beat up and stuff. They got a nice one and chromed it. And that's a lot of the time with the chromed ones, man. They won't just grab a cheap piece of shit that's been beat up and fought with and whatnot, man. They're going to get one of the nice ones out of the pile to chrome up because it's for a parade to show off their troop or whatever, man. But anyways, this one... I could say it's dated 1900 on one side and then says US on the other and the difference is this one's got an extra number stamped under US just the number 47 which I'm thinking might be like the regiment stamp or whatever don't know because my other one just has US and then the date nothing else but other than that man just as nice condition but a lot cheaper price he had ones all complete like this that were caked in rust. This one was rusted up, but it was more like just from just sitting in somebody's garage and not being cleaned, and it was just light rust, so I had a bit of cleaning to restore it. The ones he had, man, rust, pitted up in spots, and he had, I think, $120 on the cheapest one for the same damn life <laughs> in bad shape. So there you go, man. Depending on what you're into, man, sometimes it's worth getting the chromed ones if you can find them, man. I occasionally see them. Just a lot of times, man, I'll pass them up because sometimes I'll have a cheap price. Sometimes they'll just be really wickedly high. Kind of like the French one that I spotted. Like the last bayonet that I just showed, man. It <laughs> would have been really, really nice, and I'm thinking... Now, I, I don't know if it was a first or second pattern. All I know is it didn't have the wood grips. It had the uh, black plasticky type, whatever they used, some type of composite stuff. And the chrome job on it was just horrible to the point where I'd want to figure out how to get the chrome off of it. I mean, real sloppy, and they had damn near 200 bucks. So. <laughs> Better definitely to go to gun stores instead of antique places, man. Unless you happen to find one of the lady's relatives where I got that last one that's... Now it's like I noticed I stopped at that one page and hit on it, and then I went back and scrolled down, and he's got about four of them of that Danish one. And the most expensive, I think, goes up to about $220. So I'm thinking more like 200 at least on the one I got. So, and once again, that was a buck, so sometimes it's the place, sometimes it's the person that's behind the counter, 
or the brand of tater tots they eat. I don't fucking know, but whatever, man. I got ignorant people in this state. Later, guys. Feel free to comment on this one, and off to the next bayonets. I got a few more to show. So catch y'all later.